So templates are another way to create your own digital scrapbook pages with an idea already kind of in mind. A placement of where your pictures are going to go, uh, possibly paper, uh, text, and things like that. So this is a very, very basic template. So let's start out, we're going to have this in two different segments. I'm going to use this one and I'm going to use another template just so you see how two different ones are being used. I'm going to go ahead and save this as something else because you don't want to override your template. Let's just save this as Aspen because it is going to be of Aspen. And now you have a duplicate of that template. So when you, if you ever want to go back and use this template again, at least you have a copy of it. So I resaved it as something else. That's my very first step. The next thing is, well, I want to gather all the pieces that I need. So I have all these photos in one file, and I also have parts of DigiKits in this file as well. So, for instance, I've got, let me place a paper in the background here. I've got this Heart Song DigiKit and also some papers. So let me just pull this paper in for my background, and then I'm just going to go ahead and place it. And again, you can always check to see an image resize, image size, what actual size this is. Nine times out of 10, or even more than that, it's going to be 12 by 12 at 300 resolution. Inside the membership area, I have how to create your own templates and also how to change the size of templates. So if you want to go even further with this template idea, you can go inside the membership area and learn a little bit even more about templates. So next I'm going to work from the bottom up. You can work however you want to. It's just easier for me to work from the bottom up. So I'm going to go to my next layer, which is called Box 1. I'm going to go ahead and place a photo in there. So I'm going to go to my Photos folder, and I'm just going to go ahead and bring in Aspen. You do not have to place. You can go ahead and open and drag and drop if you want to as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink this down in size pull this in the upper right hand corner and I'm going to come over to my layer that I just brought in and I'm going to right click and choose create clipping mask. It's going to mask it into that little box. Perfect. So then maybe I go to the next box which is the next layer and I go file. Let's do it a different way. Let's go file and open. I'm going to go ahead and bring in this one, open this one and maybe I only want to bring in parts of this photo. So I'm going to get my handy dandy rectangle marquee tool here, select what I need to select, make sure that there's not a feather on that, which I don't believe there is, let's just double check, so zero feather, get my move tool, drag it and drop it into my page, move it into place, make it a little smaller so it's going to fit in that area, and then I go to my layers panel over here to the right, make sure it's right above that um, box two, right click and choose create clipping mask. You can move it around and then go to the next one. So select that one. Actually I'm going to close this one out because we don't need that anymore. I'm going to go file and place. See I'm going back and forth so you see the differences here. Place that one. I'm going to shrink it down. So cute. Oh my gosh she's so cute and then come over here. Now another thing you can do if you forget to right click, you can always go up to layer and create clipping mask or control G. Move her into the center there, then go to the next one. See how easy these templates are to use? It's just so awesome. Let's bring this one in, place that, shrink her down, Cute, cute, cute. Go ahead and right click, create clipping mask, move it into place. Uh, let's go to this next one. You don't have to bring in photos for each one. You can even bring in and place a um, actual paper if you want to. So let's go back into papers. How about using this paper here? I might shrink it down a little bit just so that we can, there we go. 
and then we can right click and choose create clipping mask and that clips that paper right in there. You can even delete this layer if you want to and add text in there. So let's just go to this middle bar, large box. Let's place a photo. I think I got the perfect one, this one right here, one of my favorites. Cute, cute, oh, adorable. And then again, you can right click. Or another thing you can do is you can hold down the Alt key and when it comes into a box, see how it's a box and an arrow? You can clip it that way. So when you hold the Alt key down, then you click and it will also clip it into that photo. So that's another fourth way of doing it. I'm going to go ahead and select this next one. File and place another photo. Another cute little picture. Shrink it down a little bit. Just makes me smile when I see these pictures. Right click, choose create clipping mask, and so on and so forth. So you kind of get the idea. Um, if you wanted to, you can also bring in other elements. So let's go out and see what we have here. We have Heart Song. We have some elements here, some adorable little birds. Let's just bring in a couple of these guys. So you can place them wherever you want to. Just remember you can always move the layer to the appropriate spot. Let's put this one down in the right hand corner here. You can also bring in some drop down shadows so it really makes it pop. You can even take some of these layers and add drop shadows to them as well. So for instance, if you want to go to box seven, which is this one, go to effects, put a drop shadow on that. You'll probably want to do it to all of them unless you just want one or two of them to be highlighted. But you can put drop shadows and strokes and all that kind of stuff. So if you have this selected, then you go to layer, layer style. Actually, let's go back and see if we're right here. Let's select, let's select that middle one there. Go to layer, layer style, style settings. Let's do a stroke around that. Let's just do a really big one. Maybe it needs to be on the inside and maybe it needs to be a pink color. So let's just click on that. I'm going to come out to my um, palette over here. Let's pull this pink right here. That really makes it pop. So I'm going to put a bevel on that as well just to show you that you can also put bevels. Not that I would do that to this picture. And then you can put a drop shadow on that too. So now when you are all finished, let's just say you're all finished with this, you go File, Save, because you've already saved it as a different name, so don't override the, the original one. Then you can go File, Save As, and then pick JPEG from the list of dropdowns, and I'm going to go ahead and click on Save. I usually take it all the way up in quality. So now you're going to have two different versions. You're going to have a flattened version, which is the JPEG, and then the one with the layers, which is the PSD. So now you know how to do a simple template. In the next segment, I'm going to do one more template.